Hey everyone, this is Roscoe, and welcome to part 27 of the LP of Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. And last part we rescued Griff and uh, gave the moisture evaporators to the sand people. And now we reunite Griff in mission. Now, if you have mission during... When you go see the sand people a second time to release all of the prisoners, uh, mission and Griff will have this little talk there. If not, then you'll have it back at the Ebon Hawk. Wow, Griff just admitted to leaving his baby sister behind and the chance of her dying on Taurus. You're lucky we came along, asshole. You may have been young, but you knew how to take care of yourself. Besides, you're here now. I mean, everything worked out fine. That's You're it? fucking lucky. That's all you have to say to me after all these years after deserting me on Terrace? That and, uh, you look good, sis. <laughs> like you're doing well. Financially, I mean. Sis, oh, you boo. Feet, do you? um... You're hitting me wow. with credits. I don't believe this. <laughs> oh, Man, God. You, this this is you just wrong. Just like, Sam, come on. I know there's some dead feet people out there in Ever. the world. Hmm. But uh Jesus heaven cripes. She'll cool down in time. She won't fucking forgive you. I wouldn't. You may have I actually like that life, detail of light on the Ebon Hawk there. Name. In that little Say, cutscene just there. Uh sorry, I don't have any credits to spare. I uh, guess you've been talking to Lena too. That's okay. I was there I'll when we were she found mission, credits. asshole. Besides, uh, I've already Greeted the manager over at the Zerka supply shop said I could come work for him if I ever get tired of the mines. Yeah, I think I'll go take him up on his offer. You know, <laughs> there's something else you can help me with. I need to talk to a guy first and set up the details, but if you're interested in a job, come see me and greet a shop. Goodbye, mission. Uh, uh, I'm glad you're not dead. You don't say that. You say I'm glad to see you're doing all right. You're doing well. I'll talk about your brother. I'm happy Griff's alive, but I'm mad at him right now. And I don't know what kind of I don't job blame you, Mission. I'd be more than a little mad him. myself. Probably just another scam. So, is there any... No, never mind. Okay, okay so now we're heading to the circus shop. Ah, Let's see what Griff has uh, planned. Oh, guess she's still mad at me. Oh, well, it, it's probably <laughs> no. the best. Uh, I didn't bring her because I think she would get, she, I thought she would have killed you at this point. can be refined to a very potent powder. It's the primary ingredient in Teresian ale. That's what makes it so strong. Of course, now that Taurus is pretty much wiped from the face of the map, Teresian ale has become somewhat scarce and uh, very, very valuable. Um, <laughs> what about just recipe? using normal, you know, the refined what it is right now, the, the drink... Now. If mass produce it via science. Ale, it's not hard. Synthesize it and reproduce it in mass quantities. Problem is, I need one of Synthesizing, those uh, to make the first God batch. damn it! Now the Taurus is a smoke and ruin. The only place to find tack is on Kashik. If you Wait. can get your hands on what? one of those tack glands, I'll make it worth your uh, while. Well, thank God we have to go there. Sorry, like I said before, I don't have any credits on me, and Greta won't lend me any. I mean, it's like he doesn't trust me to pay him back. But you come through. I don't blame him. I promise you'll get a huge payday down He's probably the heard all the Two, bullshit stories no, from you. Three thousand. We'll get those tag yeah, lines for you. I knew you'd come through for me. You won't regret this. You'll see. Uh, just, just don't take too long, okay? This guy from the exchange could stop by any day. Hey, I I've got shit to do. To stop, You're so lucky I'm already hitting my ass at cash. Well, let's just see. Yeah, a few broken knees. Kneecaps, elbows, bl bludgeon head. Yeah, that will teach you a few lessons. I would love to see a uh, I've got, sh I've got to save the galaxy. So there are two. This is the eastern uh, desert of the Dune Sea. There are two entrances. From the main entrance, as you exit into the Dune Sea, just keep heading north and a little to the left. Or you can go by the Z Sound People Enclave if, after you get the map and just enter from there to go straight here. You could do this. It's your choice. You want to get over with the planet? That's fine. I don't blame you. Tatooine is the least interesting place of all. And let's save.
I'm tired of waiting, Comad. How big can this dragon of yours be? I'm going in. <laughs> what? A dry a, you really you wanna know? There's your answer. Wow. Now you can actually see it from here. That large thing inside the cave That's the dragon. That's a great dragon. <laughs> uh, why do you need my help? Bull dragons are rare to see. Rarer is the parent size of this one. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Kill this great beast. Why should we kill it? Great dragon feed on bantas. The numbers of either species fall. The other grows too numerous. The unbalance. That's the cycle. Uh, okay, I'll help, but give me information about how. Its hide repels blaster fire? Oh, just lovely. We'll repel this. I'd use my lightsaber at this point. But Jesus Christ. Well, if it repels blaster fire, I probably would repel also a lightsaber. But who knows? Okay. So we lead it out by getting some bantas. Which is very easy. If you have banta fudu. Fodder? Yeah. Banta fodder. Um, you can easily find that in the what I bought at the beginning where the Eben Hawk is, or you can find it in the Sand People Enclave. If you choose to find it in the Sand People Enclave, you're probably going down the path of the dark side, anyways. But, or you can be lucky if no one saw you picking uh, the boxes, so yeah. No problem. I'll just get the bantas. So, very quickly, the bantas aren't hard to find. They're a little right behind you. Now, these little posts right here is if you go past them too far, they'll knock you back out at the beginning of the of the area. That's what they're meant to do. It's like a indication of the uh, border. Because if you try to go past that, you're going to... Uh, Get lost in the dune scene, you're supposed to die automatically, but it's just gonna knock you back. Bat is going the wrong way! Bat is going the wrong way! God damn it. Now, I don't know what happened to the sound effects. Ugh. I really don't. Like, it's weird. Now, I kind of regret actually, um,. I regret having the uh, sold all my grenades at this point. See, as you can tell, there's no more sound effects. I don't know what happened. So I don't know if anyone's dying or not. So yeah, this is fight is actually pretty tough. It's not an area boss or anything. They're just uh, powerful sold warriors. They're elite warriors. They're meant to be powerful enemies. That's all. Crap! Heal! 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 Force war run. Uh, what the hell are you doing? No, targeting the wrong creature. Now, this fight isn't long, more or less tedious. You either die so many times, you get frustrated, or they die so many times, 
Or do you kill him off in the first shot? So either way, you're ending up okay. Okay, what happened to Juhani? What? This thing's still not dead. There we go. Oh god, I hate it when the sound effects are gone. I don't know what causes this in it too. I don't know if it's just the fact the game is so old that it's actually can't keep up with it. Oh god damn it, don't tell me we're going to die. Oh there goes my character. And there goes Johanny. Boom! Oh god, this can be very, very close. Oh! The problem is that when, melee, when a melee range character gets into range with a, of a of an attacker uh, range character, it can be very, become very dangerous because the range character does not have a way to fight off against uh, yeah, melee combatants. It's weird. The sound effects are gone, but... I many strange stories like the last one I told you, but I do have a couple about me and the stuff I've done. In one battle, I hope so. I was expecting Althea. more swords of you. My unit managed to defeat a force of Altheri ten times our own size. That battle gained me command of an entire subsect of my clan. Wow. For five days, they that managed sounds to like hold off bullshit. our forces, keeping us to the outer rings of their world, preventing us from attacking it directly. My task was to assault one of their flanks with a false attack. The Altheri would be drawn out by the units I had sent in. Once they had surrounded those units, the bulk of my forces would attack from the rear and defeat them in detail. Uh, did it Things work? didn't go as I had planned. I saw an opening. A mistake they had made in the disposition of their forces and took it. While fending off our main force, they had let their fleet split in two. The center of their entire fleet was left exposed. What an I idiot, Commander! You don't do that! assaulted the center of their fleet, decimating them. Their slow, ponderous ship could not turn to face us without being overwhelmed. The command vessels were destroyed in seconds. Their ranks were thrown into chaos. It was amusing to watch the surviving ships scatter and flee. Several even tried to dive through the plane of the rings to escape us. They were That's shredded stupid. by the rings or crashed into rocks or were destroyed by our forces as we pursued them. Warriors do wow. not flee from a battle if they are losing. They fight to the end. As we did against your Jedi Revan. Another time, maybe I'll tell you about how the war with the Republic went. For now, <laughs> yeah, poorly. Let's just get on with things. Is there something else? Nothing more. Now I did this in order to regain force powers, obviously. Uh, I hate the sound effects being gone out of nowhere. Wow, two force heals. That's all Juhani can produce. Oh wow, I know a guardian is not supposed to have a lot of force power, but Jesus Christ, that was pathetic. Oh well, she did her job well. Anyways, let's go back to the Bantas and drag them all the way back to the... Use the fodder to drag their asses back to the crate Dragon. So, the thing is that you never... Fight the Kray Dragon, or let's put it this way: I never fought the Kray Dragon Achuta. ever. Wonga could be Achuta. Wonga could be Good job, come talk to me. <laughs> what? You didn't you just see the battle I had with the Sand People? You could have came and helped, asshole. Don't worry, I'm ready. Uh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> now, I believe the Kray Dragon is supposed to be, uh... Um, based off the Komodo Dragon with, um... Other types of animals in our world. Now, we're using mines to kill it. I've never had to fight this thing the legit way. I don't even think it's possible. 
I think it's like uh, on Manon. It's an in if you try to go for the Star Forge on Manon immediately, with the uh, giant for rocks and shark there, it automatically kills you. I've never had the opportunity. I don't wish to try it. Now, this guy, from what I understand, is actually uh, a hunter that's actually uh, respectful. He doesn't hunt just for the prey. The hell? He hunts because there's reason to hunting this thing, and it's true. Like you said, since Kray Dragons eat Bantas, and uh, the Bantas, if one number goes too high, it's the same thing in our world. One number goes too high, then you lose something. Um, the one item we received is a lightsaber crystal, or should I say a crate dragon pearl, which is freaking awesome. End this part soon to an end, so join me next time as we find us, finally activate the star map. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you, have a good day or night.